Good morning, sheep fans. Cami's the name, Sheep's the Game. And what are we at today? Well, we are fluke dozing our lambs that are left. We have roughly 400 of these guys left to, to finish or sell. Probably going to sell some this week, so there'll be a batch that we don't fluke doze just because the retention can put some buyers off. And we're also going to give them all a jag of this. This is, hopefully it's not mirrored on the, the screen there. It looks backwards as I look at it, but hopefully it's looking okay to you guys. In fact, let me turn the camera around. Here it is here. I've got the bottom of it. It's just about dropping out the bottom. It's called Troy Vitamin B12. This was recommended to me by the vet. Similar to Smart Shot. Some of you may have heard of that. It's been about for a little while, but this only lasts for two months. So with Smart Shot, you give the lambs 0.5 mil. Certainly your store lambs, you give them 0.5 mil and it lasts six months. With this, it's one mil and it lasts two months. And depending how you look at it, this bottle here is 114 pounds. So yes, it's much cheaper than Smart Shop, which is roughly 500 pounds. But when you actually work it out, you know, it's probably similar priced in terms of the fact Smart Shot does six months, it's half the dose, all that kind of stuff. But if you're just doing a few store lambs, this is a good option, I think. So that's the plan today. Fluke dose and a multivit injection. Interestingly, that can be given intramuscular or subcutaneous, so either into the muscle or under the skin. We'll probably go into the muscle just because it's easier than, yeah, I think that's probably the plan. But essentially, you put it in either way and it should work fine, which is quite good, easy to apply, especially in this machine. Let's get some lambs in and see what the weights are. That's what I'm really interested to find out. I should also say Marissa's here helping today. Marissa doesn't get enough air time. Um, give her a thumbs up, Marissa. Look happy at your work. Yeah, that's good. You're good at putting it on for the camera. <laughs> so here's the lambs. I don't know who showed that one, guys. Oh, jings. Probably me. But here are some of the lambs here. A little close-up of the group before we run them up through the tapari. Hedge is getting cut over the next week or two on the estate. Something that a lot of folk don't think about when they think about the costs of running a farm and, and owning land and keeping the place tidy. Another big expense there, especially when they're using a fent to do it. <laughs> done my usual, I've got the lamb in and I've not, I'm not even ready. Um, the good thing with this bottle here, just comes out a bottle like this, this stuff. And it looks like it's the exact same bracket that goes on the deck to max which is good yep and we want this shut down to one mil there we go and now just need something to hang this would that hang from there all right where would we be without it the good old baler twine all right all right hang it here hang it from there and you might be wondering cammy what is that hanging from there well i've had this to parry for four months and i didn't realize that the bar that came with it actually just hangs over there for your dozing stuff. Every day's a school day. Now this is an interesting start. You might notice my videos are getting a bit more erratic now, but I'm just trying to get them fired out for you guys and show you what we're, we're really up to. This lamb's 47.6 kilos. And I'm talking about selling them store. Um, wow, right. I was not expecting that. I was thinking neither. Wow, I don't know what weight these lambs are then. This might be one of the bigger ones, surely. Let's, 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 let's put a mark on it. Green shoulders are heavy lambs. Okay, second lamb through is a bit more of a sensible weight. It's 42.2. So it's getting a fluke dose and a jag of this B12 supplement. And it's going to the left. We twist that and we release. You're free. Next lamb's 36.6. My Tapari gun gives me 7.3. Looking a bit furry around the chops there. I sometimes think, you know, that kind of thing's a sign of a lack of something or, or even a sign of maybe the flukes bothering them. Yeah, I was still worried about that longworm because we, we did most of these with Zolvix, but Zolvix doesn't cover longworm. So I do wonder, is that, yeah, quite a heavy snot in that lamb's nose. And this would be, these lambs had their first heptivac. Should I be doing them their second heptivac? Probably should. Because as we discovered in the previous video, that doing them once is a waste of time. So despite the very clever met alarm that we have here, there's still not really anywhere to put the dozing gun. So I've just, you know, 
put my little table up again. And as well, before, what I used to do is step in in front of the sheep when I was dozing them. And then I thought, you know, if Lizzie can learn to shear with her right hand, she's left-handed, surely I can learn to doze with my left hand. So that's what we're doing now. Set myself a new challenge. Doze left-handed. It's actually very easy. A lot easier than shearing with your bad hand, that'll be for sure. Quite a few of the lambs coming through with just these kind of dry, kind of flaky ears, kind of scabby bits on the ears. It's almost like a dirty word saying that about sheep, but see this here? Now, I think that is a sign of being deficient in cobalt. So that would tie in with the B12 deficiency. So hopefully this stuff does the trick. Another good um, bit of PR, I suppose, for the chrysalix side of things is the only sheep that I've had chrysalix all summer are those big lambs that you've seen in the previous videos that we've been chipping away at that we didn't shear. They've had chrysalix the whole time and they're like, obviously, growing tremendously well and no other issues because they get all the B12 they need from chrysalix. The reason I don't just chrysalix everything is, well, one, it's, it would be a repetitive job, like, replacing buckets all winter, whereas for me, we sheep away from home all over the place. The boss is a great thing because it'll, it'll st st allegedly stay in them for six months and eke out what they need. It doesn't cover as many things as Crystalix would, but it covers that B12 deficiency, which is the big worry we have just now. And about February time, depending on the year, they'll be getting Crystalix blocks anyway for that really um, stressful period when the lambs are getting really big inside them just before lambing. So that's how we cover it. Okay, lambs all fluke dozed and given their B12 jag, let's get them through the foot bath now before going to a lovely crop of rape. I just looked in the box and that Troy stuff actually comes with its own wee tube and nozzle, which is quite handy. That was far too much, that hard work. Absolutely swelt on trying to push them through there. The ewes run no bother, but the lambs just aren't used to it and just hate it. What a nice wee surprise, we weren't expecting Jock to be on the vlog. A lot, a lot of folk miss you, Jock. Oh, do they? Aye. A lot of them don't like Marissa, because you're here now. <laughs> I've been sacked. Tell you honestly, talk about uh, taking a step down for the sheep game. <laughs> Going for Jock to Marissa. <laughs> Okay, so this is the field of rape that we have this year. Very, very windy up here, so the audio might not be great. It's not really taking too great at this part of the field, but it is a bit better further over here. Just hasn't taken as well this year. I spoke to the farmer about it, just uh, the conditions at the time when I went in. He did it a slightly different way this year as well, and he says it just didn't, it didn't work as well. So. It's one of those things we talk about in farming all the time, you win or you learn. So we probably won't have as many sheep running on here as we did last year. We'll probably put 160 here just now, um, two loads of 80, and that'll do us for just now. We'll see how they go on it. They're average 38 kilos through the scales there. So 38 kilos, did a kilo a week, say, get them, you know, give them two months. No, 38 kilos, no. A kilo of wheat would be eight weeks. Yeah, yeah, give them two months and see where they are. So that basically takes them out with their float retention. That's it for this one, anyway, sheep fans. We're going to go back and get this last lot and get them dropped off. And that'll be us for the day. Thankfully, it dried up. It was a horrible start to the day. But now it's dried up. It's quite nice. If you've enjoyed this video yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. I appreciate all your comments. We do try and reply to all of them. And of course, I'm still pushing this Patreon thing, adding extra videos there all the time. Try to basically build up to pay for an editor for my videos so that I can do more of them. That's that's the truth of it. Um, and if you want to know how much I'm paying for this, I'll do a video about that on Patreon. Don't like to put too much on here about you know what we pay for things because too many of you guys 
just nosy local farmers. <laughs> <laughs> I know I would be. Right, that's us. See you for the next one, cheap fans. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.